The thing about it, me and Adidas, it's like, I could literally say anti-Semitic and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? Well, here's the now what. Ten days after giving that interview, the other shoe has dropped between Kanye West and Adidas, the company cutting ties with him after he made anti-Semitic remarks. But his hateful comments are having an impact beyond those big-name brands. And we have this just in. L.A. Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald. Well, he's just announced that he's ending his partnership with Kanye Sports and, uh, Agency. NBC4's Angie Crouch now has more on this. Kanye West's recent hateful comments against the Jewish community have now cost him his most lucrative business contract. Today, German shoemaker Adidas announced it's immediately ending its deal to carry Yeezy-branded products, releasing a statement saying Adidas does not tolerate anti-Semitism and any other sort of hate speech. Ye's recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous. Just days ago, Ye appeared to taunt Adidas, apparently not believing the company would risk more than $250 million in sales. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? Ye has also come under fire for saying that George Floyd died of a fentanyl overdose and not from asphyxiation from police officer Derek Chauvin kneeling on his neck. Now Ye's talent agency, CAA, has dropped him and Foot Locker, fashion powerhouse Balenciaga, and The Gap also severed ties with him, saying they'll no longer sell Yeezy products. Beth Keen, CEO of Holocaust Museum LA, applauds the corporate backlash. To take a big financial hit like that, um, is is a big deal, but they need to set an example and be role models for the world. Ye's recent remarks seem to have emboldened others over the weekend, like those who distributed anti-Semitic flyers at homes in Beverly Hills and a group of neo-Nazis who hung an anti-Semitic banner from a freeway overpass in L.A. Saturday. Today, Keene says Holocaust Museum L.A. also saw a rise in hateful comments on its social media accounts, like this one that said, is it not true that Jews control Hollywood, record labels? Why is this a problem when it stayed Speaking out on atrocities orchestrated by Jews is not anti-Semitic. The museum removed the post and reported them to LAPD and the Anti-Defamation League. Keene says the Holocaust Museum will counter the rhetoric by stepping up community education programs, expanding student tours, and is planning a Stop the Hate Summit in the spring. Young people really need to understand where all this hate and prejudice can lead. In Los Angeles, Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.